Little baby. He doesn't like that. Don't do that. Good morning, everyone. We're currently at a park right now. My goals for 2020 are to spend more time with the kids and move around a little bit more. So going to a park is a pretty good option for that. So you might see us at parks a lot more in the, in the next year, if I keep up with it. My hope is to keep up with it. I've got the baby in a carrier, and he's been kind of difficult the past few days, so I'm trying to give Jessica breaks because he just, he, he won't not be on Jessica. It's been a little bit of a struggle, especially since we're gonna go to Hawaii soon, and Jessica is the one that is so good at packing the kids. She's usually the one that does that. Actually, she's always the one that does that. I don't know how she does it, it's amazing. She hasn't had a chance to really work on that because every time she tries to do it, he starts fussing and she needs to take care of him. And one of my ideas is going to the park because if we're at the house, it's a lot easier to hand him off to Jessica. But if Jessica stays at the house and I come out here, it kind of forces me and Luke to work together and try and figure out something that we'll both be happy with. Are we giving mommy a little break? Trying? Oh no, oh no! And we'll do a little bounce. Do a little bounce. Do a little pacifier. Do a little pat. All the things. All the things at once to distract you from being sad. You're up so high. So I'm still trying to figure this guy out because he's the first baby that we've had that's been like really colicky. Like he cries and there's not really seeming like a reason for it. With the other kids it was kind of like if the baby was crying, you go, okay, do they need a diaper change? That's the first thing you check. Then you check and see if they're hungry. Then you see if they need like attention, stimulation, something like that. And usually there's like visual cues as well. Like the baby will go like, oh, if it's hungry and give like a certain face if it's trying to get some gas out or something. With this guy, we try everything all the time with him and nothing seems to be like consistent. I'm kind of getting him to quiet down by bouncing him and patting him on the back. So like right now, he's a little fussy for no apparent reason. So Jessica's been changing her diet. We've been trying all sorts of different things just to try and figure him out. Cause that's the thing about babies. You just kind of have to figure them out. They're all different. They all have different cues. They all have different things that they need at any given time, so we're just trying to figure out how how Luke works. How do you work, Luke? How do you work? You like you like me to just talk to you and pat you? Nope, that's not it. That's not the one. Another funny thing about kids is like each one has different tastes. So you'll notice I'm wearing this baby carrier. This is different than the one that I normally use. The one I normally use, Duncan basically lived in it when we went to Europe. He was just in that thing all the time. He loved it. And Luke does better in this one. So I'm using this one right now because it's a little better, a little easier. I've noticed he cries more in the other one, so now he's in this one. I like baby carriers better than strollers. First of all, because strollers don't go up steps very easily. Secondly, I feel the baby closer to me and I, I like that. Like I like that feeling a lot. It keeps the baby warmer and it's more exercise for me. So like, especially if they're fussy, I start doing the up and downs. That's some leg lunges right there getting my workout. <laughs> and your hands are free. With a stroller, you gotta push with at least one hand. This way I can like grab things and move things around or pat the baby's back, cuddle the baby. Little baby. He doesn't like that, don't do that.
so excited because this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. KiwiCo is a super cool monthly box that specializes in STEAM activities for kids. If you could know anything about me, I love subscription boxes and this one is educational. It encourages kids to do hands-on learning, which I also really love. And it's for all ages. It goes from zero to 16 and up, which is basically all of my kids. Like, let's be real. I have a zero year old. <laughs> I have a two-year-old, I have a six-year-old, I have a 10-year-old, and I have a 12-year-old, and they are all going to be thrilled by these boxes. So this is the one for nine and up. It is a hydraulic cloth, so cool. This is a pinball machine that you make yourself, which I'm very excited about. This is the age five and up box. This one's Atlas, and this month we get to learn about India, and this is the six plus box. And then this is the little box for two year olds. So it's two and up, and it says doctor's visit. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. There's a magazine in it that says doctor's visit, and it's a Discover magazine, and it has little articles like building empathy, Bye Bye Boo Boo's bandage match. Like it's a very high quality, nice magazine that reinforces what they're learning about in the box. And this is the instruction book for everything we're doing this month. We're about to bust open the boxes and baby Luke really needed to eat. So I'm nursing him right now. And Christopher and the kids are gonna get into these while I sit and watch. <laughs> And I'll see if I get to get involved too. I really hope I do. At least I better get to play a pinball game. <laughs> this is all about how to be a doctor. So it's a doctor kit. It's so cool. Can you share with me, please? <laughs> so this is a board book and we can read this book later. And then here's your doctor chart. So you can check on your patient and see how they're feeling. Here, you can take that out, sweetie. You wanna take it out? I can take it out for you. Look in the mouth and look in the ears. And that's the temperature. We can measure the temperature. Listen to the heart, listen to the lungs. So <gasps> I love these. <laughs> and then there's your stethoscope. These are awesome. And then this is your very own doctor bag. You get to decorate your bag. So you can put that, it's a sticker. Good, good. Then do you want to put any of these stickers on your bag? Mm-hmm. Here. <gasps> that looks perfect. Read my little book. Yeah, let's go read your little book. It's a big bubble sheet. <gasps> really? I'm yeah. really excited about this one. <laughs> It's a pink ball machine. Really excited about these boxes and activities. The kids love them. Thank you so much KiwiCo for sponsoring this video and for sending us all these boxes. We have enjoyed them so much. I can't wait to see what project we get next month. And you can actually try any one of these boxes for free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. It's $4.95 in the US and $9.95 outside of the US. There's a code in the description box down below in this video and it will also link you to the website if you need to know how to get there. And there's so much more to dig into with the various magazines and extra activities, so I really appreciate that. I love these boxes. You know, I was just thinking, feels like a taco night. All right, those were good tacos. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Next time we post, it's gonna be 
the start of the Hawaii vlog. So make sure that you tune into our channel. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to us. Turn on the little notification bell thing and that way you won't miss a single Hawaii vlog. Hawaii is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So won't you join us as we go to Hawaii. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.